Hey there, everybody. This is the very first video that I am doing on how to create a membership community using WordPress for those people who want to use WordPress but are still not sure how to do it. Um, honestly, there are easier ways to set up a membership community. Um, my personal site right now is set up on Podia, and it's the free version of Podia, so it's completely free. I can set up a, uh, the community feature. I can um, charge people monthly and yearly, um, and it does everything I need. However, there are certain people that still want a little bit more freedom with their site and maybe don't even want to, you know, go something like Podia or Kajabi, which is a paid uh, plan. Uh, Kajabi is a whole different platform than Podia. Um, and it could just be that, hey, I, I still, you know, I, I've used WordPress. You know, maybe you're someone that's used WordPress and you just, you want to use WordPress. You don't want to use all those other different platforms that are out there. So we're going to do that. But very first thing we want to do is set up an environment where we can just sit and play with WordPress. And I'm going to install this local WP and it's at localwp.com. Just, you can just Google it and I'll go ahead and put a link in the comments as well. Um, and then from there, you don't even need to install WordPress on a web server. You don't even have to have a, uh, you know, a hosting plan yet. If you, if you're not there yet, um, you can just install this local WP and you're able to actually, um, install, uh, WordPress and play with it to your heart's end, do whatever you want. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So we're on uh, local WP's website here. I'm going to click on download and please choose the platform. We're going to be doing windows. I'm on a windows 11. It wants first, last name, email, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I don't think it is, it does want an, e an actual email. Okay. So it, it's asking for a first and last name here, an email and a phone number at the very minimal, it's going to require an email. So we will type in an email here and we will press return. All right. We'll click on get it now. There we go. You're Download is starting. So all it needs through all that, that little form is just your email. You don't have to put any other stuff if you don't want to. So it's downloading. Um, should start automatically. If it doesn't click here, more than likely it's already downloading right up here. One download in progress. So we'll let that download. Uh, it might be a little slow. I'm working on a virtual machine so that we've got a brand new, fresh uh, machine to work on uh, that doesn't have local on it yet or anything like that. So we're going to uh, install this uh, or download it and then we'll click on install. All right, so it is all downloaded. It's already starting automatically. Let's go over here and see what we got going on. That's a desktop background. Okay, so it's asking, uh, do we want to install it for anyone who uses the computer or just me? I'm just going to keep it at just me. That's fine. No one else is going to be on this. And this is just a destination folder. That's fine too. We're going to keep everything default. So I think for the most part, when you're downloading and, and doing this stuff as a general rule, keeping things just default is is good um every now and then you might want to double check and make sure that that default install is not going to install um adware or anything like that but in this case um the default install is perfectly fine all right so setup is in progress it's wanting to install something else we're gonna um click on yes Click on yes again. And yes again. I wonder how many times that's going to happen. This could very well be that it's because I'm using a virtual machine. Three zero five zero one. Okay. Complete local and finish. More than likely, we can minimize this once it's all done. Okay, I think we're just going to close right out of this window. Yeah, 
And we've updated our terms of service. You can go ahead and read through all this uh, good stuff. And once you've read through, you can go and I click on I've read and agreed to locals terms of service. I agree. And we've got it on the desktop already. So it's getting ready to start. So it wants us to, to set up a free account. Select an app to open this. That's fine. You can do always. So here we're, it's asking, is it okay to enable error reports? I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to say no thanks. Is it okay to enable the usage reporting? No thanks. So we're just going to go ahead and click on create new site. And we're going to go ahead and do create new site and do continue. And here it wants to know what our site name is going to be. All right, so I'm just going to call this um, Sean's Membership Community. Okay, so it's going to automatically create a domain, a local domain, and this is just the local site path. Again, just leaving all that default is fine. Uh, we could change it if we wanted to. I'll go ahead and leave that. Uh, as default and we can go and we can change this stuff if we wanted to um, again for getting up and getting running I'm just gonna use preferred and unless we run into an issue and there's there's a chance we could run into an issue uh, with preferred um, there's no reason to go and do custom so um, to get up and running and playing with all this uh, preferred is just fine so WordPress username so it's wanting some kind of a username this is going to be a username that we're going to use to like sign in to um, the back end once you get your WordPress set up so if you've used WordPress at all there's going to be a dashboard and in order to log into that dashboard um, you need an actual username so we'll create a username here um, I'm trying to think here what all we want to do as far as a username on our little practice site here. That's just, again, it's just on my local machine, so it's not like anybody's going to get to it. But um, um, Sean, just going to call it Sean. WordPress password. All right. Uh, let me in. I wouldn't recommend doing something like this uh, on a live site, but hey, that works. Um, is the, this a word? No, that's not a multi-site, so we don't have to do that. And then here, we can just leave this as default as well. It's not a big deal. We're not, what's the word I'm looking for? We aren't um, live, so all this kind of stuff doesn't really matter that much. So we're gonna go ahead and click on add site. Okay, so Windows Defender Firewall is blocks and features of this app. Allow local to communicate on these networks. I'm gonna say allow access. And again, gonna go ahead and click on allow access. Mailhog. Interesting. This is the first time installing local on a Windows 11 machine. So wasn't that complicated on Windows 10. Um, and I don't know if maybe I have a feeling that it would be the, the same on a, on a regular machine. Again, this is a virtual machine running on a Windows 10 machine. Um, but that's, that's good. So at least you can kind of see, hey, we have to basically let Windows 11 know that it's okay to uh, run this. So it's installing WordPress. I'm gonna pause this while it um, installs it. 
Okay, so according to this, we're we're up and running now. Okay, so a couple things I would recommend. One, one click admin. I would click this to on. Just makes it a lot easier to log in when you're when you're going to play and then select admin. That's fine. It's I'm the only admin on here, so we're gonna do that. And um, if all is going well. Um, Again, there on my Windows 10 machine, there was some configuration settings that I had to do, but we're going to see if this works right out of the um, box default settings without having to go and, and do any tweaking. So I'm going to go into um, two options. I can either go into the back end and do a WP admin, or I can actually just open the site and look at it. Let's go ahead and first just kind of open up the back end and see what that looks like. So it's actually opening up a... Um, a web browser, but it's not on the internet. It's actually on my local machine. Okay. So this, if you're familiar with WordPress is your tried and true WordPress dashboard. Okay. So I'm going to minimize this. And then here, if we had clicked on open site, so this is the WordPress installation that, um, automatically was installed when we installed it on local. So we don't have to make any other configuration changes on local uh, to get going now. Um, evidently, everything went um, much, much smoother on the Windows 11 than it did on Windows 10. So that is how you install local WP on a Windows 11 machine. And that's going to be your first step in setting up a, an environment where you can go and um, set up a test uh, WordPress website and then from there you can do everything you need to do as far as play with it to create a membership community and just see hey how does this work um, and um, do some testing and see you know uh, beforehand before you actually go live um, test you know all the different plugins that you might need and test um, uh, just the, the functionality of your website before you ever have to do anything at all on an actual live host that's connected to the internet where everybody can see. All right. So this is our first step. In the later videos, we're going to walk through setting up a uh, theme and then adding our plugins and creating uh, all the pages that we're going to create. And um, we're going to have lots of fun with this. So thanks for watching and go ahead and, um, Hit subscribe so you can catch the next video in this series and have a great day, everybody.